Hey, this is a uh, crazy Dave. I'm going to discuss why I do not want to discuss politics. I'm not going to get into either side. I'm just going to say, let's put it this way: both sides have separated so much that there's no moderates anymore. Moderates are getting less and less and less. And I'm a moderate for either side. Okay. Um. You go on Facebook. Oh, this is about politics, by the way, crazy Dave. You go on Facebook, you see just food slinging and mud slinging and people calling each other names. It's like Rudolph the Red No Rain Reindeer, why nobody would play with him because he didn't want to play. He didn't want to join in the red. He didn't want to join the reindeer games because his red nose. Everybody made fun of him. It's kind of like mud slinging, and nobody listens to each other, and everybody talks past each other, and everybody has their theories. And nobody's objective. Nobody's willing to listen to the other side. And if they listen to the other side, they already have a they already have a preconceived view. Oh, that you fall into this group and you're this, or you fall into that group or you're that. The only thing that I go off of is numbers and logic. Okay, but unfortunately, it's there are too many people that hold extremist views on both parties. You know. There are some conservative things that I believe in. There are some liberal things that I believe in. But does that make me totally liberal or totally conservative? No. If I went to my conservative friends and went, hey, I have some liberal ideas. But I also have some conservative ideas. The second I say I have some liberal ideas, they'll call me as a liberal. Okay? Most of them do. If I went to my liberal friends and went, hey, yeah, I have some uh, conservative ideas, they'll call me the extremist liberals, not the moderates. But the extremist liberals will call me, hey, you're a conservative, you're a right-wing nut. You know, I have ideas that fall on both sides. There's about four or five people that I can discuss politics openly with because they're objective, okay? And I listen to them. And when you have extremism, you have both sides. If I talk to my conservative, can't you understand this? That this is happening because of this? You're so stupid. Or when I go to go over to my liberal friends, can't you understand this? You can't hold this conservative principle because that's so stupid. So that's the reason why I don't discuss politics um, openly. I'm not going to discuss it openly on this YouTube channel. Same with faith. Faith is very personal. It's between me and the man upstairs or if I do not believe in the man upstairs. You know, but it's it's faith is very personal. It's a very personal thing. So that's why I do not discuss that. I don't know if I touched upon it in my trailer videos or not, but the world is just getting so extreme that if you even hold one view. So let's say you're a diehard bleeding liberal, okay? But you hold one conservative view, you're going to be ostracized. Or if you're a diehard conservative, but you hold one liberal view, you're going to be ostracized. Now, I'm a moderate. I'm not an extremist on both sides because I believe extremism leads to insanity. Um, you know, both sides always fighting, always fighting, always fighting, never getting anything done because they believe so strongly in this country, so strongly in the way they view the world. They, be, it's almost like both extremes do not see reality. They see the view, they see the world as they view it, either on either extremes. They see the world as they view it, okay? And they do not see the reality of it. Extremism, in any case or form, will lead to insanity. And that's why, in the world we live in today, there may be some moderates that I may find. There's about six people. Six people that I can count on my hand who I can discuss politics with who fall on both sides. Oh, we're going to cancel each other, you know, cancel each other's votes out. But we're not insane. We're not going to hate each other over politics. But I'm saying in general, both sides have gotten so extreme that they've lost all reason. And but the funny thing is, is both sides have their own sources for being the way they are, that they ignore the total truth. So you could put something that's logically, logically fits, like 
like it's like in a root it's like in a Rubik's cube that nobody can ever figure out but you you know not to stick your hand on a stove when it's hot because it burns but one side will say well, oh well, your hand won't burn off so they'll stick their hand on the stove and their hand will burn off but they still believe that their hands not burnt off and the other side is like oh you better not uh, even touch the stove because it's a little warm even when it's off you can touch it and not burn your hand off you know like when you turn off the stove you can still touch the other burner you may feel a little warmness versus you know logical truth is somewhere in the middle it's never in the it, it's never in the world of extremes okay it's never in the world of fear it's never in the world of I'm better than you I can talk above you it's never in the world of I'm gonna talk below you every viewpoint has a reason extremism leads to insanity so that's why I do not discuss politics. M many times I've run into people where I would discuss politics and they get all emotional about what they, how they feel. You know, like, oh my god! Ah! And that's when I know when to stop. You know, I'm like, can you please put your emotions aside and can we please discuss the issues? You know? Now, a lot of people have, they put their faith in politics, which is, it's just fun. Oh. To me personally, you know, I fall in the realm of, you know, politics and faith should be separate because there's a separation of church and state that, via the Constitution. But there are people that have people that are of no faith, you know, that need that say, well, hey, what about this? This is my governmental right or whatever. See, but but you know, you you always have the extremist parties. Okay, we just need the world will be fixed when both parties learn to come to the center or let's say like this is the only political stuff I'm getting in Lincoln he was part of the Whig party part of him wanted to um, part of the Whig party wanted to um, promote slavery part of them didn't want to do it so that party split up and then Lincoln founded took part of that party that he belonged to and founded the new Republican Party okay just for a little tidbit and Thomas Jefferson founded the Democratic Party just for a little tidbit and they both kind of flip-flop sides you know given the issues of the day like the Republicans are where the Democrats used to be or the Democrats you know they, they just flip-flop sides and it's just it's gotten to the point again to where it's both extremes Okay, we're no longer a moderate. There are very few moderates, and we need to get back to being moderates, in my viewpoint, in order for us to get anywhere. There's dirt on. There's dirt on. The point is, there's dirt on both sides. Okay, there's dirt on both sides. Legitimate dirt on both sides, whether fiction or false, whether uh, fiction or truth. There are dirt on both sides, and not everybody's going to agree. That is a fact, but. You know, it's gotten so bad to where, where there is middle ground to be found. Nobody wants to discuss that. Thank you for your time. Crazy Dave, signing out. Uh -huh.